They were heroes. And they were here in this tunnel for weeks or days, we will find out. Israël vient de diffuser les images exclusives du passage souterrain situé dans le sud de la bande de Gaza, dans lequel plusieurs otages auraient été tués par le Hamas. Le contre-amiral Daniel Hagari, porte-parole de l'armée, a décidé de montrer les conditions terribles dans lesquelles ils étaient retenus. Regardez. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to go down into the tunnel shaft 20 meters below where the hostages were murdered. The tunnel shaft was in a children room, in a house. Those are the walls of this children room with Snow White and Mickey Mouse on the wall and a tunnel shaft where hostages were murdered downstairs, 20 meters below the ground. Hamas used those letters in the tunnel and there was a hiding floor. All he needed to do is to break the floor and then go out through the children's room, inside to the street, and go back into the tunnel. This is how Hamas built this tunnel. Two to six terrorists were here with the hostages. We are gathering all the stuff here for forensics, for intelligence. We can see magazines, an AK-47 magazine, chargers, all by the ter used by the terrorists. Quran books, a hairbrush. We need to we need to check who used it. But there were women here in the tunnel. This is their blood. This is the blood of Hirsch, Eden, Carmel, Ori, Almog, and Alex. They were heroes, and they were here in this tunnel. For weeks or days, we will find out. But they were here in this tunnel in horrific conditions, where there is no air to breathe, where you cannot stand. And they survived, but they were murdered by terrorists. And they're still hostages, 101. Some of them are alive in the same conditions, in tunnels like this in Gaza. And we need to do everything we can in all means in all the means we can to bring them back home alive. Why murder innocent people, women, young men? They were all in the music festival and Carmel was at their home in the kibbutz. Why murder them in a tunnel after they survived 11 months in horrific condition? We pray and think in our hearts and minds and we will keep on doing everything we can.